Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review a show that I just saw on Netflix. A new show called Russian Doll. And I found out about because how a cat posted a movie, Food and Metal, that uh, he said that he thinks that most people in the group would probably like the show. And he said it's not as goofy as the trailer made it out to be. Uh, so... I, I went on, I, I was kind of curious because I had nothing, I knew nothing about the show. I didn't watch the trailer. And uh, I saw that the episodes were like eight episodes, about 25 minutes apiece. And they all fluctuate, but under half hour. And I had enough time for uh, going on, so I said, what the heck, I'll watch an episode. And um, it revolves around this girl, Natasha Leone. I mean, while well, that's the actress playing her, who's very good, deserves a Emmy nomination for the show. Um, but I don't know if they nominate uh, shows on Netflix for Emmys. I, I don't know if they consider streaming services eligible too. Cause it's really weird not to, uh, but you never know. I mean, I think that's getting involved in, the, like, for Oscar and stuff like that, uh, acknowledging Netflix and stuff. And other award shows. And um, if I was around her birthday party, and then it seems like something happens, she dies, and then she comes back to that same period of time of her birthday party. Someone like Groundhog's Day or Happy Death Day, but different. And uh, it's listed as a comedy. Uh, I don't really consider it a comedy. There are a few funny moments. And it was really weird. The first... Cause I, I saw it over a course of like a week and a half, and most of it was the first three episodes because I was on the fence about it for a while because... She was very good, but the other character was so uh, not very likable and somewhat pretentious and not engaging. And it's like, why do I like this? Sh why? I'm not sure if I like the show I was on the fence about for a while, but it's still interesting and not boring. I want to see the direction it was headed in. And the second episode, I saw, and then there was parts that were really funny, and then it got back to these the lot of characters that weren't very engaging and stuff. And the third episode was like that, too. And then... At the end, she meets this guy and she says, he says the same things happen to him. Like he's dying and coming back to the same spot where he was at. And then the fourth episode is focused on him. And then they they get together and they try to find out what the heck's going on. And a lot of stuff in it is, is sad though, but it's absolutely brilliant. And when I said that, I was on the fence the first three episodes. Like a lot of these characters aren't very... Engaging or likable, they're supposed to be like that. I mean, it's they said that uh, <clears throat> Ron Tomatoes gave it a real high score. It says that uh, the best reward is to watch it, uh, watch all eight episodes and really get the full effect. Uh, but it was never a boy. And then after, really with the fourth episode, towards the end of the third episode, I was really hooked. No, I did like the show for. I mean, but it was like I was on the fence. I was like, do I do I really like the show? Or do I kind of like the show? It ends up being absolutely bright. I don't want to give away any spoilers, though. Uh, I don't consider it a comedy. If you're expecting to laugh out loud, laugh, I don't think you're going to get it. But it's really fascinating. It gets dark, too. And a lot of it gets that. It's really good. You know, I didn't know how it was going to wrap up. But season one, I'm not exactly sure how they're going to do season two. But you never know. And then I saw that, uh, I saw on Stephen Colbert. Well, I give the show, I give the show a ten out of ten. It really moved me and stuff like that. I found out that you know the direction, of the unlikable stuff towards the first three, it's supposed to be like that. Um, I give it ten. I think the show is absolutely brilliant. And uh, John was telling me about some other shows I might have to start watching on Netflix. It's just, I wish there was more time. You know what I mean? It's stuff like, I still remember uh, Burgess Meredith on uh, Twilight Zone. And he had a thing he loved to read, and he was like the last man on earth, right? And he said, man, all these books and stuff, I have all the time in the world I need to read all stuff. I have all the time in the world I need. And then he broke his glasses, and, that, and he broke his glasses. That's, the, that's so screwed up. Now, I think most people know the episode, so I had to mention that, but uh, I think Russia Doll is absolutely brilliant. Uh, and I want to include, you know, I definitely see it, but it's not, it's not, I don't consider it kind. I consider it like more drama 
a slight, maybe slight dramedy, but more towards drama and a sci-fi type bit than comedy. But I think it's absolutely brilliant. You get a 10 out of 10. I also want to include a review of uh, something called That Bohemian Girl, or The Bohemian Girl. Um, I saw, I heard a, they had a radio interview with uh, Stan Laurel, because I'm on that Laurel and Hardy kick, because I want to see that Stan and Ollie. And uh, with, uh, I think it was like a week or so after uh, Ollie passed away. But Stan still lived like, I don't know, years after Ollie passed. And they had like a radio interview. And he said one of his favorite movies was Bohemian Girl. So I finally saw it. How Roach Production, like I said. It revolves around this team of gypsies and stuff. And it was weird, like... And the main thing was, like, stealing and stuff like that. It was weird seeing uh, Stan and Ollie, like, steal from people and stuff like that. Because it's supposed to be pretty... They're just innocent, but, I mean, they, they blunder, you know. And, uh... It was pretty entertaining. They had uh, Darla was on there, um, and he they go to this village and they run him out. And I they they whip this one guy that uh, supposed wife of uh, Oliver Hardy married to. She cheats, and then he said, "Well, since they did that, we're gonna steal her his uh, kid, played by Darla, within a blonde wig." And then, uh, you know, they, they can they don't hurt her not like that. They can never, and then, uh, they're bringing her back, and then, uh, that girl runs off to the guy, and then Stan, they show Stan all years later still raising that girl, and she's in, like, her 20s or something like that. And it's really, it, it, it's, it's entertaining. I think there's lots of singing in it. I think the thing is just padding. Uh, and you can't really understand. It has one of the most messed up endings. It's kind of a violent ending, too. I mean, I don't want to give anything away. It was really dark. Uh, I give that Bohemian Girl maybe a, a 7.5 out of 10. So I hope you like this review of Russian Doll, and also I put in that Bohemian Girl, too. So until next time, bye, please. Take care, my legion.